as promised, these startup profiles and other changes I've been making to the software are not going to increase complexity for the average user at all. So just to demonstrate that, here we go. We're just going to plug in a battery pack and that's the standard startup profile. It said SP0. So it just told you it was in startup profile zero, uh, which is the default one and the power switch is off. So the speed then goes off. Then you can turn it on and turn the dial to whatever speed you want, just like before. And everything works just as normal. Uh, if you have it at a certain speed, you unplug it, you turn off the power switch, you plug it in. Let's see what happens. It goes through that startup routine. Still at startup profile zero. It turns the screen off. It's in an off state. You turn it on and it goes to the speed you were at before. That's what people would expect. That's what it does. Like I said, it's super simple. What happens if you unplug it and you forget to do the power switch? So in this mode, it says startup profile. Now it's just saying FS, that's for foot switch. So it starts up paused all the time. It noticed that the power switch was on when the power was plugged in. I didn't want to just start spinning the wheel automatically. So we start up in a pause state. So you can use the foot switch to get it out of that mode. Now let's say you don't want to use the foot switch. So let's just do this again. We, oops, we leave the power switch on. We unplug it, we plug it back in. Let's say you don't have the foot switch attached. So in that case, I would say the easiest way to fix that is to just turn the power off, turn the power on, and it's going to go. But let's say you don't think of that. Let's say we do the same thing. And again, it's all about making this intuitive and making it so that it works with the way different people use it. So in this case, I do the same thing. It starts in this paused mode. But let, you don't have the foot switch, you're confused, what do I do? You can just turn the speed dial all the way down to zero and back up. Normally, turning the speed dial down to zero will not get you out of foot switch mode if you use the foot switch, right? If you use the foot switch, just turning that dial down to zero won't. But in that initial startup mode, it will. And that's again, just in case you don't have the foot switch with you, I don't want you to have to remember, do I use the switch? Do I use the dial? Anything will get you out of that started pause mode. So again, I'm just trying to make it intuitive for all the possible use cases. Hopefully this uh, all makes sense. So uh, before I go into startup profiles, let me show you what I mean by showing the speed that you're gonna go to when it's in a pause state. So let's say you push the foot switch. Now, if you turn the dial, it's gonna tell you about what speed you're gonna to go to. So it said it was gonna to go to 717 uh, RPMs when you push the foot switch. And so we push the foot switch and you know, it goes pretty close to that speed. And I think that, I, I think I like that. So again, if you pause it and for some reason you wanna adjust the speed lower or something, now you can see that without your yarn getting all a bunch of extra twists and stuff. Uh, or if you bump the dial and you go, oh, I have to get back to what I was at. You can do all of that without turning it on. And you touch it and you get back to the speed that you have dialed it to. So I really like that. Um, in profile one, we've got a max speed right now of, you know, just under 1600 RPMs. And it's all nice controlled. Like before, if there's a bunch of friction added to the system like this, it compensates and keeps the speed about uh, what you had set it at, even though the amount of uh, effort it, the motor's putting in to keep it there. My beta testers have tested that. All of the ones um, that have tried it out have, have absolutely loved it. They said it's much better than the old system. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping that uh, open loop system. I mean, closed loop system uh, that we have uh, implemented. One other place, and I don't know if this makes sense or not, but I know a lot of people spin without the foot pedal and I thought they might want to be able to adjust the speeds too. So like if you turn it off, 
then you turn it back on, it's going to come back to the same speed it was at. But if you turn it off and you want to adjust the speeds, I can show uh, the target speed just like I did with the foot switch right here. I'm not sure if this is useful. I think it is because most people aren't going to touch the dial. They're just going to turn it off and it's going to work like it did before. But if you do tur turn this switch or the speed control, you'll see what speed you're going to get it at. So 650, you turn it back on, you know, they're right around there. So uh, let me know what you think about showing the speed when it's off, either with the switch or the foot pedal. Um, obviously the foot pedal does not work when it's off. You have to have it on. Uh, but you hit that foot pedal, it pauses, and then you can adjust the speeds. And then with your new speed, you can get it going. I think it's all intuitive and uh, hopefully you agree, but give me feedback if you have ideas. I'm trying to make it simple and intuitive for all users. Okay, so with all of that said, let's show a little bit about these startup profiles. So with startup profiles, the way it works to change them, so every time, right, every time I unplug it and plug it back in, it's showing you the startup profile is zero. And it remembers that, you know, basically forever, uh, whether it has power or not. And uh, let's see, so if I unplug it and I plug it back in, before the start animation ends, you have to hold the foot pedal down. So I'm doing that. So now it shows the startup profile is blinking and you're in mode zero. All you do while holding the foot pedal, that's the only requirement, is you adjust this dial. Uh, and it will um, switch between zero and one. Those are the only two different startup profiles I have. So we've always been using zero, so let's change it to one. And then I just release the foot pedal it shows some uh, those dots there um, to indicate that it was saving the uh, current profile and then it goes into the normal boot up routine so the power is on so it says foot switch if the power was off it would just uh, turn the screen off like before so if i turn the power back on we're going to start and it works like it did before except it now goes up to a much higher speed so it goes up to the full 3000 RPMs. We'll bring it down. And that's the only change that the startup profiles currently adjust. I am open to other ideas, but I haven't heard anything that a lot of people wanted. So right now, this is my plan. Just have two startup profiles and it sets the speed. So like before now, if we unplug it, it will behave just like it did before. It says startup profile one now to tell you you've got your full speed enabled and everything else works like before. So if we unplug it with the power off, it's gonna go through the startup profile and um, just turn the screen off now because this device is off. And let's go back up into the startup profiles one more time and I'll change it back to the default. So I'm just holding the foot pedal down, like the direction of your on off switch, your SZ direction, none of that matters. All you have to do is hold the pedal down and uh, then turn this dial to the, one, the profile you want uh, while the foot pedal is held down. And we'll just go back to the default of uh, zero. It shows the dots indicating that the new profile is saved. And now we're just back to normal. And as long as you don't hold the foot pedal down, it just goes to the normal startup routine and everything will be the same as uh, it was before. So that's how the new software works. Hopefully this was interesting. Definitely give me any feedback. I'm happy to experiment with different options. Thanks for watching.